everybody, it's Miss Bianca from Crowder County Park and Historic Yates Mill County Park. And today I thought we could talk about some of the coolest birds in existence. And no, I'm not talking about the birds of paradise, which of course are amazing and gorgeous, but no, the birds I wanna talk about today actually live here and we see them all the time. And they aren't incredible because of the way they look, but actually because of the way they think. So today I wanna to talk about Corvids. So this is gonna be a group of birds that includes birds like crows, ravens, and jays. So, so some of the common corvids that we're gonna have here in North Carolina are gonna be the common raven, uh, fish crow, American crow, and our blue jay. So these birds are actually some of the smartest animals in the animal kingdom, and we are going to talk about why. So first, let's talk about their smarts, right? So these birds display a range of intelligent behaviors that not only surpass other birds, but some mammals as well, like us. So it's thought that their intelligence could actually be closer to dolphins or chimps, and they show really amazing problem-solving skills. So let's talk a little bit about those skills. So one example of this is when faced with a nut that's too hard to crack, um, crows will actually drop that nut um, in like a pedestrian walking area um, where the traffic is going on and they actually figure out traffic patterns. So they will actually pay attention to when the lights are changing and they will wait for a car to run over their nuts um, so that it will crack and they wait for the light to change until it's safe enough for them to go and collect their snack. So they actually figure out the traffic patterns and figure out how to get to their food in an easier, more efficient way, which is crazy, um, but really, really smart. So these birds are one of the few animals that actually have learned how to use tools. So they're very, very, they're super thrifty. So they will actually use things like um, sticks and twigs um, in nature to actually dig bugs and that sort of thing out of holes so they can get to the food a little easier. Um, which is pretty crazy. Um, in one experiment, a crow was given a uh, very complex puzzle to solve. So the bird had to figure out how to get to a snack that was um, at the bottom of a tube of water. And so it was given a wide array of tools that it could choose from um, in order to um, get to the snack. And it actually figured out that if it took pebbles and kept putting them in the tube, that the water level would rise so that the snack would float to the top and it actually figured out how to do that within a span of a few minutes. So pretty incredible. So in another experiment, um, ravens and crows actually figured out that they could barter for treats. Um, so this is, this is pretty crazy too. They would actually use tools so that they could receive tokens that they would then give to the scientists that were conducting the experiment. And once they gave those tokens over, they would be rewarded with a treat. And so they figured this process out and continued to do this so they could get treats. So they basically figured out how to use currency, how to use money, right? So they learned how to barter. Um, another huge sign of their intelligence is actually going to come from their reflection. So we look in the mirror, we see ourselves, we recognize that that's us in the mirror. Well, not all animals can figure out how to do this. Actually, only um, a few animals can. Those are going to be animals like uh, apes, elephants, um, dolphins, um, very highly intelligent animals. Well, some corvids can actually do this too. So in certain experiments, they were um, faced with a mirror and in some cases they would be, there would be a red dot placed on their side that wasn't there before. And they had to look in the mirror and if they recognized that dot was there, they're recognizing themselves as an individual. So what they found was the corvid would look into the mirror, see the red dot and then try to get rid of it to get it off of itself. So this actually proves that they understand themselves as individuals. Um, another really neat and kind of scary thing um, is that crows can actually remember faces and ravens. Um, and you've probably heard that, that old tale about, you know, be nice to a crow because a crow will always remember. Well, this is actually true. They can remember people's faces um, and they can actually pass on that knowledge to other members of their flock so that their flock also know to avoid um, a certain person um, and they can actually recognize that face. So it helps them to avoid things that um, could potentially hurt them, but that's an amazing adaptation that these birds have. So now we'll just talk a little bit about our North Carolina corvids in particular. So my personal favorite is going to be the blue jay. Um, 
They are incredibly smart, incredibly beautiful birds, um, and they can be found all over all over the state and are very easy to identify. Um, they're going to be um, much larger than a, a regular songbird, um, and they're going to have the bright, bright blue colors and then that cool, cool hairstyle that they have, right? So they're going to be very easy to identify, um, and they can be found in like hardwood forest or mixed forest, um, but all over the state. Um, the next is going to be our common raven. Um, but these are going to be mostly found up in the mountains, um, and there's been a couple of sightings in the Piedmont. Um, and they are very similar to crows in how they look, but they're going to be much, much larger birds. So that's going to be the way to distinguish them. Um, and then we're going to have our two crows, which is going to be the American crow and the fish crow, which are going to also be found all over the state. Um, they're going to be pretty much indistinguishable as far as the way that they look, um, but they have two very distinct calls, which I'm going to play for you a little later on. Um, that is the way that you can identify between the two. And those both can be found all over North Carolina. So I hope you enjoy learning about all of these super smart birds. Um, next time you're out and about and you happen to see some crows, I encourage you to take the time to just take a few minutes and actually observe their behavior. Usually you're gonna find them trying to figure out some problems or they're having some kind of uh, family dynamic going on where they're chatting with each other and it's really interesting to watch. So I encourage you all to take the time and just watch these amazing birds um, in their natural habitats, right? Um, if you have any questions, just let us know in the comments, and we hope to see you all soon. Bye!